Good afternoon, folks. We got a great question today on Twitter, and we'll address it and much more here. The question was about how this worked, the upward lightning bolt from the Statue of Liberty a few days ago. It's an Earth discharge. There is intercloud lightning, cloud to ground lightning, and ground to cloud lightning. This is the latter, as evidenced by its forking upward. Lightning doesn't come together from multiple points, it only branches out. This is, in fact, a fairly common occurrence, and it is a critical part of the global electric circuit. We usually discuss the circuit in terms of weather effects, so if the ground aspect isn't in your head, that's understandable, but the floor of the circuit is indeed the Earth's crust. The downward currents occur on sunny days in fair weather, high pressure, and while some of the upward current in low pressure comes from thunderclouds, its genesis is often in the ground, sometimes fantastically as we saw at the Statue of Liberty. The Earth is in fact a capacitor. It can charge and discharge, and it does so all the time. For those with our textbook, page 162 of Weatherman's Guide to the Sun has the relevant studies confirming several previous ones. Low pressure systems and the static attraction of clouds can stir up the energy in the ground into the air for the upward currents, and sometimes it's quite a big discharge. Sometimes it even happens right away, as those of you who remember my Albuquerque lightning footage will recall. The branch downward strike followed immediately by several discharges back upward. If you haven't seen it in slow motion, it's quite the thing. Now, the mechanics of this also tell us something to expect during the geomagnetic excursion, the magnetic pole shift. With Earth's magnetic shield fading, we are taking in more energy from the sun and from galactic cosmic rays. It's very much like adding electric current to a capacitor in a laboratory. It'll get more juiced up and can produce larger discharges. This is why the lightning records are falling and the resulting Schumann resonance is spiking. Earth capacitor is amplified, more extreme, and getting more and more extreme as the magnetic field weakens. This is why we say that lightning will get much worse during this shift, and that its inclusion into the global electric circuit will also have amplified effects on the weather, and on longer time scales, the climate. So, upward lightning explained, and how it relates to our ongoing Earth disaster cycle and the magnetic pole shift. Hope this was informative. I will see you in the morning for the daily show. Be safe, everyone.